you guys doing today? I'm gonna cook some strip steaks today on this beautiful fire. Prime New York strip steaks for this Memorial Weekend. We're gonna have those on sale for today up to Tuesday for $9.99 a pound. Get it before they're gone. Okay, so we got right here a boneless strip loin prime, best quality. This is restaurant quality. We got it on sale for $9.99 for this holiday weekend. This is a great piece of meat. So we're gonna make some of these on the grill. The best way to cook this is cut it into nice steaks, which is gonna be about inch to inch and a half, depending on what a customer wants, how you like it. So we got right here, the New York strips, they look the marbling on it. Got a beautiful marbling on it. This guy is restaurant quality. The beef, best beef around here, we got it. Usually I recommend all my customers to get these steaks. A uh, good uh, inch or inch and a quarter is the way, best way to do it. Uh, a lot of people like a little bit thicker like me. Usually I like to have some nice ones, two inches. But a lot, a lot of people they don't want that. So it's a bunch of different ways that we can cut this strip line. You actually, you can do a roast out of here too. Depends how big is your family. You can get a three or four pieces roast. A lot of people cook it on the grill. People who have rostisserie, they do that. I personally love to do that. I got a rostisserie home and it always comes really, really nice. So I don't like to do this last piece because got the most nerve in here. So I'm gonna keep this on the side and we're gonna start trimming this up because this one is prime. Prime beef is the highest beef available for customers. You see, got a beautiful marbling on it. So we're gonna trim some of the fat off. That way you don't have your grill on fire. Sometimes uh, it's too much uh, meat on it, too much fat on it. So I like to remove a nice, to have just like a less than quarter inch of fat in these guys. You know, you already got a lot of marbling on here. So you don't really need much of that. So I like to trim every single of my steaks one by one by hand. You know, every piece of meat I serve to my customers, I make sure uh, it's a hundred percent trim, like I'm gonna take it home. So, next step is marinate those steaks. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna keep it simple. How we're gonna keep it simple? Only salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic, and olive oil. That's all this steak needs. I tell all my customers, uh, we gotta keep it simple, like good steak like this. You don't need to put any kind of fancy marinated on it because already got like a nice, nice marbling, nice flavor. The beefy flavor, this, this beef got a beefy flavor, you know, very nice, really good. So you don't have to do like nothing crazy out of this. We're gonna start with these spices. We can uh, got salt, pepper, garlic. We got it right here. I like to use pink salt. Usually I like coarse black pepper, but the fine works good. A lot of people don't like the taste of the uh, coarse black pepper because it's too strong. So we got the steaks right here. We got a little bit of olive oil right here on the side. So I always like to start with the salt. I'm using pink salt this time. We're gonna put generous amount of salt. A lot of people freak out when I put a lot of salt on the steaks, but it's actually good, you know. You got a thick piece of meat, so it needs a decent amount of salt. So this New York strip steaks, we got it sitting here for about uh, 25 minutes in a, you know, room temperature. You know, that way it's more easier for you to cook. We wanna put some more salt on this side, right here. Should be enough. Next step, like black pepper. I like to put generous amount of black pepper in both sides. You see, every little spot needs a little bit of black pepper. Then we're gonna continue with the garlic. Garlic just need a little bit, you don't need much, you know, this beef once again got their own flavor. So you don't have to do nothing fancy. We're gonna keep it simple. So when I cook my steaks, I recommend my customers to follow 
four steps. Number one, to begin with, you're gonna have a good piece of meat like this. Number two, is marinated. Once you marinate it like this, will be wonderful. You're gonna impress all the guests you got in your house. They're gonna think you are professional. Gonna, they're gonna think you are a masterpiece. Look, olive oil right there. Like to put in both sides. Should be enough. You see the beautiful right there. We're gonna follow the next step is, uh, we got the grill already. So we got two zones of fire in this side. We got like the high temperature, like the high heat in the back. And we got a little bit less higher in the other side, you know, in the front of the grill. You know, that way uh, you cook your meat right. So you wanna start in the high side, then you wanna continue to the medium temp. You ready to do this? You ready to, to feel the experience? So we got a hot grill already. Everything is all set. So this is the most wonderful sound you're never gonna see and you're never gonna hear. The most beautiful sound is when you take your steak and it makes this sound. If this makes sound like this, it's the right sound. We're gonna put it on the front of the grill. Right here. You see, I always like to put the steaks in this way that way you got a nice grill marks on it. The olive oil is going to help those grill marks impress your guests like a pro. One more. Then one more right here. I'm going to take this piece of fat out of here. So you got the steaks right there on the grill. Usually I like, depends how the customer wants, depends what, what your guest is looking for. Uh, a lot of people like medium, medium wear, well done. I personally like medium to medium wear, you know, so it all depends on the time, how long you want to cook it. So I highly recommend you to, to cook three to four minutes each side, flip it with your one or twice, no more than that. So a lot of people want to do crazy things with the grill, play around with the meat, it's no good. You actually, uh, you kill the juices inside this. So we're gonna leave it like this for a couple minutes, uh, two to three minutes to see how we're doing. So we're gonna start flipping these guys right here. You can start seeing the, got like a ca caramelized finishing right here. Right here, you see? That is going fabulous. So you keep it simple is the best way to do it. it. You know, the drops of the juicy coming out of the grill, the smell is fantastic. It, you know, make you hungry even if you know are. So this is cooking great. So. As you can see, this one, both, are, both sides are really nice and grilled, you see. You got like a nice brown finish it right here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip those steaks. How? This steak is a little bit more done and this one is not. Because this side of the fire is a little bit more stronger, a little bit more higher. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put these ones right here in this side. And we're gonna put these other ones in this side. So we're gonna do like kind of rotation. So how you like your steak, my friend? Me? Yeah, how you like your steak? Uh, I usually like medium. Medium. So look, at this is more like the uh, medium side. You see, you can tell in the middle of the steak, you know, when you got a nice thick piece of meat like this, you know, it's gonna cook from the outside to the inside. So you don't wanna overcook it, right? right. You like it to be nice and juicy in the middle, but you like this finishing like this, like in the outside. So we are finishing to, uh, Cook it the outside and we're gonna put it in the in the front of the grill to finish in cooking. So we are getting close. We are getting close to the medium medium side. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it right over here. Because the front is too hot. So we're gonna finish it cooking a little bit slower. You see this guy? This guy is beautiful. So we're gonna start putting this side. So what are you looking in a good steak? You want, you like medium or medium rare, you're looking for 135 degrees on it. If you like like little more in the uh, medium side, you need 140 degrees. If you want it like a little bit more like well done, you're looking for 145, 150 degrees, no more than that. 
this solar rice. A lot of people, they wanted to cook in 165 to me, it's kind of dry and dry out this beautiful piece of meat. So what you want is good steak, juicy in the middle and flavorful. This one, once again, is prime, prime New York strip steaks, the best, best beef around here. So you want to have the shots of one is like medium, medium water. Um, yeah, you could do that. Today, I don't know if you're going to use the, the moose thermometer. Yeah. Show how you use that. Yeah. Okay, so let's give it a shot too. Let me see. So we're going to test, you know, the best way to don't play around with this and don't have like a second guess to use a meat thermometer, which we got right here. So we're going to check the temperature in one of these beauties. So it needs to be about 135 for medium. You like your steak medium, right my friend? Right. So you see all the juices coming out. You see all the juices. Nice marbling. All the fat is melting. So we got a nice steak right here. We'll let it rest for about four minutes. You see. You like medium. This is the right way to do it. This is USDA prime steaks, tender as can be. See, beautiful. And we're gonna bring another one. What I like to do is, you know, serve this one in strips because sometimes one steak is too big for your guests. So you just uh, carve it like this. You have a nice presentation and you got everybody's happy. Right there, your strip steaks prime great, the best beef around.